you introduce risk all along the way by processing anything. Because there are more people touching it, you increase the, ris the risk by equipment touching it. So you have to almost put more processes in place to mitigate all of that processing that's happening, right? Well, the way our system works is it's actually a safer product in a salad, in a bag, than it is a whole head of lettuce. Because we've run it through a wash system that eliminates contamination. It's that all That eliminates safe. 100%. It eliminates cross-contamination. So if a leaf came in with some contamination, um, we can reduce the amount on that leaf. We can't eliminate it. There's no kill step in our industry yet because it's still a fresh product, so you can't cook it or microwave it or do something like that. Um, but we can reduce that, that risk on the leaf and our wash systems don't let it spread to anything else in the wash system. So there's a misperception that maybe you create a problem, but we don't, we actually solve a problem. We actually reduce the risk of a food safety illness. And Americans seem to be more fearful of their food these days. I think they're getting better food than they've ever had. I think that it's safer than it's ever been, and yet there's this kind of emerging culture of fear about their there's food supply. you blame it on the media. Well, I think it makes for a good story. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, it's not just the media. There was an outbreak stemming from the Salinas Valley in 2006. Which was horrible. I think four people died uh, in that outbreak. And that's what um, spurred a number of different developments in our industry. One was the California Leafy Green Agreement, where everybody was, was raised to the same level of food safety in the field with the same growing standards, and everyone adheres to that. And then secondly, that's when we developed our wash technology that I was talking about earlier. It's a program called Smart Wash. It changed the pH in the water so that it kills uh, gram-negative bacteria, which is the bad stuff. So E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. And so that's, that's the goal, is to produce a super safe bag of salad every day. So are you saying it's baseless to have that much paranoia around our food supply? Yeah, I'm saying that the American, American public has never been as healthy, they've never lived longer, and every study you read says the more fruits and fresh fruits and vegetables you consume, the healthier you're gonna be over the course of your life. And so it's hard to argue with science like that.